so how to know how to know if your soul is currently experiencing stress or pain of any sorts and in consequence you are living a false reality or let's say a, a reality viewed under a false perception so how to know how to spot when you're living a false reality well the most obvious and first sign is that the mind is always chatting so if your mind is always chatting that's because your mind is fabricating stories because your soul is in pain so if your mind is in a constant chatter that means that your soul is in pain and your mind tries to help your soul the way the mind knows by creating mental stories to distract the attention of the soul with the stories so that's the sign whenever we find ourselves during the day that we are caught in that rampant mental chatter that's the sign that our soul is currently experiencing some type of distress and our soul needs attention and that means our soul needs awareness so what's the easiest practice how how can one start practicing awareness how can one start this process of let's call it self-healing at the deepest most truest level of oneself so the first the most simple technique to start your recovery process is this technique of quieting the mind as much as you can find a place where you can feel safe and comfortable or you can be any type of activity for example walking on the street when you just know that you have to walk for 15 minutes to a place or do some do some repetitive action that doesn't require your mental focus try to empty your thoughts as much as you can and i've Opa. there are all sorts of mosquitoes here um I've I've thought of some exercise that could facilitate perhaps this act of quieting the mind because I've encountered people that tell told me that well it's impossible to quiet the mind so for some people quieting the mind is is not like you would you would say to somebody, well, okay, try quieting the mind for some seconds or... And it's not, it might not be an easy process, even this step. So if, if you find yourself that, in yourself that quieting the mind doesn't come easy, for example, if you want to quiet your mind, you can't quiet the mind, then I've thought about this exercise of... Try to imagine, try to look at the scene where you find yourself, wherever you find yourself, in the city, in your room, in your office, wherever you want, and wherever you find yourself at the store, it doesn't matter. 
So wherever you find yourself, try to look at the scene around you as if you would have just been landed there, like in an, an alien would have dropped you there for the first time. And try to look at the scene around you like, like you would be an observer who just dropped into that scene. Imagine that you, for example, were teleported in your past or something, and now you're here, 360 degrees of vision, and everything is immersive, and you're in your past, and try to just play with this imagination. Look at the world around you as if you would have just landed there. And observe the things that you're observing, observe the colors, observe the sounds, observe the impression that you think, observe what you feel. And this can be a, an easy step into this thing, because when you're observing your surroundings, as if you would be in a scene of your past or in a movie, you're really paying attention to what you're actually sensing and feeling much more deeper than what your mind is thinking. So your mind will uh, automatically quiet down <laughs> because you're looking interestingly and curiously again like you looked when you were a child. child. Because when we were children, we were looking like, oh, wow, why? Like, what is this tree? Like, look at the bark of it and the textures and oh my God, like, and how it feels and... See. So this is, this is how children look at life. This is why they have a broader perception of reality. Children see reality much more real than adults. So if you're seeing yourself that it's difficult or challenging for you at first to just quiet the mind at will, then you can play with this imagination game. Just imagine that you're, you have just been dropped here in this scene and you don't know anything and you're just observing things. Like if somebody would have just dropped you here in this scene for the first time. And this will automatically, usually, from my experience, this is something I was playing with, an imagination game, I was playing it like years back when I first started this awareness process. And usually from my experience, this, this technique ha has the capacity to quiet the mind because you're if you're doing this imagination game and you're observing the world with these curious eyes like if you if you'd be a child once again then the mind is will naturally be quiet because your soul will be open you your soul will be truly open to see reality to look at it it will not cry anymore your soul even though you might be in distress inside or the soul might have been feeling stress or pain of sorts. If you if you do this imagination practice, you will see how your soul will naturally become curious and look at things. Your office, the room that you're in, your hands, anything. The smells, the taste, the feelings that you feel. And you can just stay like that for, I don't know, some moments or if you can, like minutes. And with time, this practice can, can assist you in learning how to quiet the mind, because the mind will be quiet usually in that period of you just being purely there observing your environment. The mind will naturally quiet down. And you will know how a quiet mind is in that moment. Now, if you are at the stage where you can quiet your mind at will, then this is this is the place where you want to get to because after you learned how to quiet your mind at will then you, it's only the practice of increasing these intervals of silence mental si silence at first it can be only be a second then it might be two seconds after a week then it might be four seconds after a month. Then with time, you will get to minutes. But from my experience, what I've experienced is that this practice of quieting the mind and just resting here purely in this present moment, because this is the thing, is that the thing is that to, to try to delete from your mind any 
thoughts, anything that you're thinking about, so you can see the reality around you the way it really is. So it's not about the spirituality, it's nothing about going anywhere, ascending or anything, it's about truly freaking restoring your true perception of reality. Because if you manage, if we manage, and if anyone manages to restore its true perception of reality, then that's the true nature of things. You have managed it, you have reached it, the summit of all spirituality. So all spirituality is not about ascending or descending or going anywhere. It's about this freaking body in this moment. But seeing this moment as it really is. Because right now our perception is skewed, distorted. We are not seeing reality the way it is. That's the whole thing. It's the thing is to restore the true perception. So the step to do that is to first learn the quietness and the stillness of mind, the silence of the mind. That's the first step into truly seeing reality. So from my experience, when one really starts to tap into this, and really quiet the mind. And at the very first moment that you your mind becomes silent, you will automatically tap into your awareness. Yeah, you are even if you don't realize it, that's your awareness meeting you. It's like you're tapping into a very ancient and primordial and pure source of truth. Whenever you're silencing your mind, imagine that. So, from my experience, even one moment, you don't even need a second, you just need a split of a moment when you have reached that quietness of mind. And from my experience, everything from that moment on unfolds by itself. Like, you will have tapped into an intelligence within you which knows how to do everything, which has all the answers, which can heal your body, your mind, your soul, everything which can guide you from that moment on. You don't need any other teacher. You don't need anything else. Just your trust in yourself, your will and your awareness. Your will to quiet your mind at will and your awareness, you will need it. To focus it on things so you can truly know them. But even one moment a day, even if you manage to do one split of a moment a day where where you, for some moment, you just quiet everything. You will see the restoration. You will see how everything in your life will change. Your mind will change. You have new ideas, new inspirations. Your, maybe your dreams will change. Everything will change by itself. Only from this tiniest, tiniest of split of the moment of silence, true silence and tapping into your pure awareness. Things change by themselves. Even from a split of a moment. But now imagine that you will be able to stay like that for a second or two or five seconds or 30 or one minute or two or half an hour. It's like everything changes and unfolds, heals and cleans your entire system. You're tapping into an intelligence within you which is capable and knowable. It knows everything. It knows how to heal you. You just need to quiet down and just accept staying in quietness so that intelligence can work upon you. It's like going to the doctor. When you go to the doctor, you need to be still. Because if the doctor wants to operate on your foot, you can't move your foot. Because the doctor cannot operate. Similar, if you still yourself and you rest as your awareness, then there is a higher intelligence which for much time it will remain invisible, you will not hear it, nor feel it, nor know, know of it, but it will be there. And it will make itself known in how your life will start to change accordingly in the weeks and months that follow. It will make itself known through other means, you will not at first directly be able to perceive it. But the higher intelligence is there and whenever you are tapping into your awareness and you are resting as awareness in, with your free of any thought, with a clear mind and a clear emotional state. So it's, you have to achieve clear, of, 
clearness of mind and clearness of soul, peacefulness of soul, when you stay like that and you just are in that state of pure awareness with zero expectations, zero desires, just are for some split of a moment, just breathe and just are with nothing else. Then there is a higher intelligence that is able to then operate and work on you. It's your true self that does this. It's not, it's like, it's far from being any, like, I don't know, like foreign or alien energy source or any, it's your true self. It's your, your only your true self knows how to heal you. It's an individual process. Only your true self has the key for your own life. So, what your job is to use your will to keep your awareness still. And when you keep your awareness still, using your will, and you just stay like that, this higher intelligence is able to con contact you, you know, to operate upon you, to touch you, to heal your soul, to clear clarify your mind, and to balance your body. And this higher intelligence is also the one who slowly by rebalancing the entire body, mind and soul restores you with a true sense of perception. So by staying in this state of pure awareness with a clear mind and a peaceful soul, with zero emotion and zero thought, just pure awareness, slowly your natural sense of true sense of perception will be restored. You'll start to understand things differently. You'll start to remember your reality. Or perhaps you'll remember much more. And you'll start to understand how things work on their own. You don't need to read books. You'll just start to know things as they are. Because true knowledge is direct knowledge. True knowledge is never a knowledge that can be written anywhere. You... In, with true knowledge you just know you just go to a thing and you know it instantly you can communicate with the things around you that's that's pure perception that's the true sense of perception and this true sense of perception can be restored through this practice that can be can have many names it can this practice can be called like staying in the present moment or resting as awareness or resting as thought free awareness or silencing the mind or just being, it's all in the same thing. It's only one single state of being where is you're basically restored to your natural sense of self, your natural sense of being, which is in deep knowledge of everything and is deeply connected in mind, soul and body with everything. Your mind is connected with the mind of everything, your soul is connected with the soul of everything and your body communicates with the body of everything. So it's this state of interconnectedness and true, pure knowledge. You just know things. And this can be restored by itself through this process and through this practice.